welcome back as promised body products that actually work and body products for body product phobics <laughs> i really don't like the feeling of being slathered in oil or body products beyond having a spa treatment and then even when i get out i would shower straight away i would the thought of getting dressed after putting body lotion on makes me feel slightly icky and I'm just, I've never got over that. And so as a result, what I've done is I've managed to find body products that work to hydrate me super quickly, that are unbelievably lightweight, or that I can use on the drier parts of my body but sink in really quickly, or even better, have high levels of actives so that they can be used less often and they actually make a difference to your skin. Let's dive straight in. Let's start with, for me, <laughs> the best inventions ever to come out of body lotions and that is body lotion sprays. I really really like them. They go on super lightweight, they spray, they give the lightest, they're, they're like serums for your body essentially, slightly milky glycerine -y, hyaluronic acid rich serums for your body and I've got three here and they're just all of them are absolutely brilliant. Uh, Aveeno Daily Moisturising After Shower Mist is super lightweight. It has colloidal oat in it, which is an extract of an oat that calms and soothes and hydrates and repairs the barrier function. And it's just a really nice product. These aren't sexy products. These aren't fragranced, heavily fragranced products, but you've got perfume for that. And eau de toilette and eau de parfum. This is literally spray and go. You look down, your hands are dry, your arms are dry. This obviously, if you've got dry skin all over, you can spray it all over. What's not to love? Anyway, so Aveeno, I love. The one I've talked about lots of times is the Deep Moisture Express Body Mist from Neutrogena. Again, really lovely. And then more recently, I've been introduced to Bioderma Atoderm SOS Spray. Um, they're all relatively anti-itching soothing. If you were to go up the sort of list, I would probably say that the uh, Neutrogena is the lightest one, and then you've got slightly more hydration from the Aveeno one, and then by the time you get to the Bioderma one, this is actually proven to work on clinically dry skin. So this makes anti-itch claims as well, and I think that's really important, the anti-itch claim. And we'll go on to talk about another range that has anti-itch claims. Um, there are sort of the oil equivalents that you spray on after you come out of the shower. In fact, all of those, you could spray onto damp skin and you get a lighter finish because they all emulsify with water. So if you put them on to get out of the shower and spray them onto damp skin, not sopping wet skin, and then rub in, what they will do is they will emulsify in the water as well. And then you'll end up with an even lighter sheen. So if you don't like heavy body lotions, they're the options for you. And Vichy do an Ideal Soleil, which is an after sun in shower or on dry skin. And it's actually an oil and that's how that's been designed to, to be used as well. And I really like Vichy, it's a really nice range. Their sun products are really lovely. And that's how I first discovered they are aerosols. That is a pump action. But again, if you want that, I mean, I know it's designed for the summer, but if you want that sexy leg sheen, this is an amazing product to use, much lighter than a heavy weight, gunky body oil. You can spray it. Anything that is put into a spray, you know is gonna be lighter because it's gonna get through that tiny nozzle. So you can spray this onto damp skin and you'll get that really lovely decollete arm leg shimmer if you're thinking of getting your legs and your arms out during the party season. So. They are the easiest lightweight ways to hydrate your skin if you're phobic of heavy balms. But I have recently fallen in love with two balms. Uh, th this is so good. This, I mentioned this in a video with Jo Jones um, and she didn't like the fragrance. The truth is it doesn't have any fragrance. She'd applied it on top of a Malibu um, gunky body butter and it made that release its fragrance um which is interesting to see how products react isn't it when you layer them up it's completely unfragranced and this is the dipra based daily moisturizing cream i have never used anything that will have a longer lasting effect on dry scaly winter skin it's um it's really clever if you don't like using a body lotion every day you could use this at night have a shower your legs will still be hydrated the next day and even the day after. Once you get in the habit of using it two or three times a week, that's all you need. Um, 
it's a great hand cream. Again, break skincare rules just because it's designed for the body who says you can't use it on the hands. Um, I mean, if I had really dry for a face, I would use it on my face as well. I would use it everywhere on my feet, as a foot cream, as a hand cream, as a leg cream. It's a really lovely product. I never moisturize my stomach or my back or my bottom or anything like that. I basically just do pretty much most of the time my forearms if they're needed but mainly it's my legs and my feet and my hands and this is really great you've got you know the areas you need to moisturize are the areas where you've got a much lower uh, concentration of sebaceous glands and you know that you have a high concentration of sebaceous glands that produce your your body sebum your skin sebum in your t-zone perhaps all over your face if you've got oily skin on your chest and on your upper back. And then as you go further away from those areas, it gets drier and drier and drier until you've got your feet, which are super dry, your shins super dry, your hands and your arms. So that's a great one to use. It's really reasonably priced. The whole family can use it. I know it's not sexy and I know Jones, Jo Jones says it wasn't sexy. I don't want my skincare to be sexy. I just want it to work. Uh, and then the other one I've also mentioned recently that I still am really loving and I'm using regularly is the Indeed 10 Balm Body Lotion. All of those products that I've previously mentioned are great to shave with. So if you've got the sprays in the shower or you hydrate your skin before you get in the shower, what you'll do rather than using a detergent, a foaming action to shave with, you'll end up with more of an oil glide, which I think is a much more modern way to shave. Really lovely, really lovely. Use them as hand lotions, use them as body lotions. Feel free to use them any way you want. All Nadine Baggett approved. But what happens if you want to do more than hydrate your skin? And I'm going to say this time and time and time again, the secret to a really smooth body actually isn't oil or isn't a moisturizer. Honestly, hand on heart, it's to exfoliate that skin. And just as we exfoliate our faces and you wouldn't just layer on heavy moisturizers, so you should exfoliate your body in my opinion, especially if you've neglected it and you've got a buildup of dead and dry skin cells, that typical alligator scaly skin. You know I love Ameliorate. Do I even need to talk about this? This is a lactic acid rich body lotion. It's quite difficult to get hold of and it's quite expensive. It smells very lactic acidy, which basically smells very slightly like off yogurt. Um, this was formulated for people who suffer from keratosis pilaris. And I feel like I mention it a lot, and yet the amount of people that slide into my DMs and go, can you recommend anything for my keratosis pilaris? I'm of the opinion this can be used anywhere, anywhere. It is unfragranced on your body, including your face, because some people get keratosis pilaris here. I think it can also be used on really young children, although be careful on their faces, because young children develop it quite quickly when they get to school age. I think it's a brilliant product, I really do. Um, there is a, a rose fragrance one, if you don't like the scent of this now. However, I personally don't think that if you've got any skin condition, clinical skin condition, which is keratosis pilaris, is, you should really be putting fragrance on your skin. Just me. And I just think, who cares what it smells like? It's like saying C. ferulic smells weird or retinol sm smells weird. That's going to last like two or three minutes. But, you, but trust me, you're going to wake up in the morning with much smoother skin and you're going to go, whoa, who cares about what it smells like? Same with this one as well. Uh, this is Dove Pro Age. Um, it was a range that was really popular, was taken off the market in the UK and then everybody went crazy and asked for it to come back. There's a body butter um, and a hand cream. The hand cream has got um, uh, like a sort of wax feeling to it to really lock the hydration in. The body butter is buttery. Um, if you really like body butters, go for it. That's the exact texture that I do not like using. It's the same reason I don't like cleansing balms as well. I just don't like that feeling at all. Uh, this, however, is genius because this has got lactic acid in. Uh, and as far as I know, it's the only high street product with lactic acid in. Yes, this is available on the high street, but when I say high street, I mean Boots, Superdrug, you know, uh, Sainsbury's, um, supermarkets, all that sort of stuff. It's genius. It's basically a budget version of this. I don't think the levels of lactic acid are as high, but you're going to have the same effect in the long term. Somebody DM'd me the other day to say they didn't like the smell, and it is fragranced. Um, it's not a fragrance I dislike. Um, it's actually quite a nice, quite sophisticated, sexy fragrance, but the only reason they're fragranced is because lactic acid doesn't smell good. It smells like yogurt. It smells like off milk slightly, but... <laughs> tough. 
I really don't care what my actives smell like. I care that they're active and they work. So you need to look for a body lotion with lactic acid in. Lactic acid is one of those resurfacing acids that suits most skins, but it has this ability to hydrate and lock water into the skin at the same time as it exfoliates the way the dead skin cells. So rather than glycolic, which would have um, a more uh, resurfacing effect, I, I mean, I loathe to say anti-aging because it's hard to anti-age your body um, as opposed to your face um, because the skin is thicker and it has less sebaceous glands and it's much more prone to the effects of gravity and weight gain and weight loss than your face would be. So I'm not saying it's going to do work wonders, but you know what it will do? It will make your skin smoother. It will make it get rid of the little red bumps. If you ever run the hand down the back of the, your legs or your thighs and you realize you haven't really exfoliated and you've neglected your bottom, if you've got spots on your bottom, this is what works, it really, really does. It's the same as the CeraVe SA lotion, which I don't have with me, that's a salicylic one. Salicylic acid is better for breakouts, lactic acid is better for dark, dry, dehydrated, alligator, and red, bumpy, prone skin. Look for body products that genuinely have an active ingredient in them, because they're well worth sourcing, they really are. Why not have an exfoliating acid in your body lotion? Uh, the way to use these, I think, as with all acids, is to apply them at night and sleep in them. And that way it doesn't matter really what it, what it smells like that much. And then you'll get up in the morning, again, have a shower, rinse it all off, and you'll just notice that your skin is long-term smoother and hydrated. And then, of course, you can always use these during the day. And you can get dressed straight away. You're not going to have to run around flapping your arms like an idiot because you're waiting for your body lotion or your body oil to go in. And also you're not gonna leave any residue on your clothes, which is really important for me. They are my current favorite body products. Not one of them is sexy. Only one of them is even fragranced. I know a lot of people want their body products to be luxurious and indulgent. I say save your money and go and buy a gorgeous fragrance you know, a designer fragrance. And by the way, um, I've just put up a video of my favorite autumn fragrances as well, so I can link that down below. Save your money, get a fragrance, get a candle. That's not a problem. You want your body products to work. You want you, you want to be as demanding of your body products as you are of your face products. So if you're already buying Indeed Labs and the Inky List and SkinCeuticals and La Roche-Posay and Ordinary and Decium, and you wonder why your body products aren't living up to your demanding standard, it's because you're not looking at them in this with the same critical eye. Look at them with the same critical eye. Expect them to hydrate, repair your barrier function, take down the itch in your skin um, quickly, easily, get absorbed, be unfragranced if possible, and also look for active ingredients. Look for glycolic, lactic, salicylic in your body products. Trust me, your body will thank you for it in the long term. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. What are you loving in terms of winter? autumn body care at the moment. Have you found anything else that also you can spray on or that's got a high level of actives? I'll see you soon.